the rights of women and girls to menstruate in dignity. Prices of sanitary parts have been skyrocketing. This has led to the lack of access. It has led to period poverty. A lot of girls are missing out on school because they can't afford sanitary parts. Women are missing out on the workforce or from the workforce because they cannot afford sanitary parts. Girls are exchanging sex for money to buy parts. This in the long run will contribute to the already existing gender equality that we have in our society. We are going to have less girls to participate in the workforce. We are going to have less girls being responsible citizens and contributing to the economy. And so we are calling on the government to remove the taxation on sanitary parts. So this has been a joint effort of women's groups and the socialist movement of Ghana. I used to say it's the women's movement of the socialist movement of Ghana. I say it's all of socialist movement of Ghana. Um, it's Obasima, it's Yubitini, it's Girl Guide. It's all of us um, groups that have women at the heart and the center of our operations who have come here today to speak to the powers that be, those that can actually make the change that we seek happen. We came here, you know, to stand by the streets with our placards. We've been doing this for morning. And to end all of our activities today, we came up to the Parliament of uh, uh, Parliament House to meet with the Speaker of Parliament. Parliament was um, um, in session. He paused Parliament. He met with the leaders for about 10 minutes. We went in and we presented a petition to the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament. We were able to sit with him. He called off certain in the Parliament and met with us. He says that he has already started, you know, um, some processes, meeting with the women's purposes, meeting with finance, all of these things, because all of our petitions have been noted. Because before we came here, we have all sent petitions. All of these organizations that I speak about have sent petitions to the House of Parliament asking for things to be done differently. So, Speaker has assured us that, you know, in the shortest possible time, his work, we are going to hear favorably. I hope by favorably, we are not going to be talking subsidies or reduction. We are saying, take the taxes off. If that doesn't happen, do we'll come back. He has assured us and we are trusting his words and we know with all the seriousness he attached to it, we want to believe that very, very, very soon, our march will not be in vain. Our work will not be in vain. What we have come here to do is historical. It is something that will go into history as one of the important matches by women. Of course, I'm joining this campaign in solidarity with the women. And I realize the fact that they have been discriminated against in terms of this word, hard taxing. And it, it is just unheard of. You, 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 can, you can see part as a luxury group. It's, it's something that is basic. It's something that is basic, and then we need to look at it as such. And even to the extent that the government must make it free for our women folks. In fact, they constitute the majority of our populace. More than 51% of our populace are being denied this very you know, essential commodity. It's an essential good. I'm here today because, of course, some of us have been through in the 80s, when we were using anything for our period. So, most of us contracted infections. If you go to the universities right now, you say most of, about 80% of the girls are having infections or have suffered one form of it or the other. So, I've realized that the infections those days or a persistent infection can lead to infertility. And most women, of my age and above, some of them have their womb removed because of the infection. My brother's children or my grandchildren shouldn't suffer what I suffer. That is why I'm here. And I'm very happy the minister has accepted our plea and will work on it. Comrades and friends, don't let this be the end. Let us fight for our rights. We contribute to the economy. We are part of the society. A lot of things goes against us. And from today, we should say, don't tax my period, and any other injustice perpetuated against women should stop. Amanda!